Discussions are underway to assess a fee to transiting passengers who make their way through Guam. It's not really a new fee, it's the same fee, so it's over 20 years old. It's called the Customs Agriculture and Quarantine Inspection Service Charge Program of 1995. And according to Customs Public Information Officer Jesse Santis, has been collected from terminating passengers or those who visit Guam to help recoup costs. So right now the current rate is $8.29 and what it does is it's part of a ticket pricing. So travelers, when they purchase their ticket, it's there and then it's collected by the air airport. They deposit it into a separate fund, which we use to operate. While over $12 million was collected in fiscal year 2015, they've actually lost out on nearly $2 million more by not collecting these fees from transiting passengers. Santis says up until 2013, there was a corridor at the airport for transiting passengers to re-enter the concourse after clearing through immigrations and therefore didn't require the services of the agency. However, since 2013, the corridor closed and now all passengers are now processed by customs. Prior to 2013, they weren't charged because they weren't really using our services. Why charge them? But because they closed that corridor and now they're, they have to funnel through us, we want to start collecting those fees. Santis says annually Guam has approximately 226,000 transiting passengers, or about $1.87 million customs has not collected. These funds, she says, may even result in more officers on duty. So that money, once we start to collect it, would be better, would be used for operations at the airport. We'd begin, we get to um, obtain and acquire officers. Um, we'd better protect that port of entry. We would also provide better services to tra travelers and also the airline industry. She says these fees essentially help customs recoup costs so they don't have to depend on the general fund. So. Right now, we're currently working with the airport um, to get them on board and our stakeholders that we want to in soon include will be the airlines because we understand that this kind of a change um, is not going to happen overnight. Santa says it's critical to involve the airlines because some travelers buy their tickets months in advance. She expects the fee to start sometime early next year. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza.